Trump uses him like a prophylactic. He just shoves ISIS up his big, dirty asshole. I think he takes us for granted like, you know, dog crap on his shoes. Master's my friend. But he was doing good, and that what makes it so bad. And the left will make jokes, but this ain't funny, man. You're a liar. Here's the news, Trump. I'm not dog crap on shoes, brother. You are crap on my shoes, you son of a bitch. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Go back to the video. Shit. Eyes and shine, motherfuckers. I am your host, the Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. What are your thoughts on the Lock Street attacks? Oh, wow. Totally astounded. Uh, baffled. Crazy. What, what are your thoughts, buddy? Fun. What do you think about people that wear masks, go out at night when nobody's around, and then smash windows? Well, it's cowardly. If you're going to smash a window, do it in broad daylight and show your face. That was terrible advice. Terrible advice. Last week, Lazat, or shown to defend, was attacked by over 2,500 poulet. <laughs> nah, these motherfuckers. For those of you who just don't fucking know, Lazat is a sprawling land defense occupation site located in Notre Dame de Lannes. In France, for years now, Lazat has been slated to be cleared out in order to make way for the construction of a bullshit fucking airport. But peeps who were participating in the occupation decided that agricultural and communal projects were way more interesting, and so for the past 10 years, they have told the project's developers and the French state to go away or I shall taunt you a second time. The territory that houses Lazat has a long history of struggle. It also happens to be one of the few pieces of actual fucking nature left in France, a 4,000 acre space comprised of farms, wetlands, and forests. In recent years, Lazat has become world fucking famous for its locally produced artisanal fucking cheese, sustainable community ethos, and militant fucking resistance, which shit disturbers from all over the world flocking to visit this real life Ewok village. In January, the airport project was officially scrapped. But despite this concession, the French state still decided that the Zadis needed to be made an example of, lest other peeps around the country get the bright idea that they could set up no-go zones for the state and get away with it. Which, mm, by the way, has totally been fucking happening. We shall take your castle by force! You don't frighten us! So early on Sunday, April 8th, Macron sent in the motherfucking troops as part of the largest domestic policing operation in France since the riot of 68. But I don't think this authoritarian crap pile expected the Saudis to be quite as ready as they were. fucking cops got their asses whooped proper. They were attacked from all sides, faced flaming barricades every few meters, had their helicopters targeted, and got fucking ambushed by la motherfucking resistance. The shit-eating fucking pigs managed to destroy several buildings on the site with the assistance of some heavily militarized bulldozers. But hundreds of allies joined the satellites and have begun rebuilding the place. Solidarity actions have taken place all over Europe and around the world. Banner drops, occupations, blockades, graffiti, and fucking riots in the nearby city of Nantes. And in other fucking news, in Hamilton, so called Ontario, the state's obnoxious retaliation for the Lock Street riot has taken a nasty turn. During a SWAT raid on a collective anarchist house on April 6, Hamilton Book Fair organizer, member of the local Tower Collective, and former G20 co accused Cedar was kidnapped by the pigs and hit once again with bogus and highly politicized conspiracy charges. One big damn conspiracy! And everyone's in on it! 
the Hamilton 5.0 then held a fucking press conference appealing to the public to help them actually build a case. We're open to any other information that might come forward from, from the public or otherwise. Hello, sir. I'm Officer Callaway. I'm here to... Uh, I didn't see nothing. Uh, I don't know nothing. Right. Cheers. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Last week, in a hearing where the Crown made it clear that not only Cedar, but all of anarchism was on trial, they were denied bail and are now facing the possibility of spending over a year in the clink as they wait for a trial. This tactic, something lawyers call procedure as punishment, is a favorite tool of the state used for repressing anarchists, radicals, and marginalized communities across Canada. It ensures that even if the sham notion of a fair trial doesn't result in conviction, Cedar, their crew, loved ones, and community will have to deal with the violent reality of their incarceration and all the bullshit that comes along with it. But as has been seen time and time again, sometimes repression can fucking backfire and end up strengthening the very peeps it was supposed to break. Hamilton and the anarchist communities all around so-called Southern Ontario are rallying together, putting out solid analysis and communiques and preparing to dig in for the long haul. They're also raising money for what they're expecting to be an expensive legal defense. If you got some extra Skrilla, please show them some love at fundraising.d-tower.ca And that's all the fucking news for today. For some fucking reason, a bunch of you motherfuckers have been clamoring for a t-shirt with my fucking face on it. <laughs> well, you asked for it. To get this consumer product, head on over to sub.media slash donate and sign up as a co-conspirator or pick it up at our web store at sub.media slash gear. We will be shipping these around mid-May. And don't forget to follow me on all your mass surveillance and mind control platforms. And now, on Mastodon, just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañera.